This is the Influencer Entrepreneurs Podcast with Jenny Melrose, where I strategize with business owners on how to grow and scale their businesses to hit their income goals. This is episode 392 of the Influencer Entrepreneurs Podcast with Jenny Melrose. Today, we're going to be talking about what is attraction marketing and how to effectively use it. Now, before we jump into this, if you are a blogger listening, you are naturally doing this, but we need to do it in a more targeted, specific way so that we can make sure that we are attracting the ideal audience. Now, last week, we talked about What is your target audience? How do you go about finding that? You're going to want to make sure that you apply that to today's episode as well. So before we dive in, I want to make sure that if you haven't taken advantage of the offer for the insiders group at 40% off that you do so. Not only are we giving you monthly group coaching in that program, but you're also getting weekly strategies. So if you find that this podcast is helping you to be able to build your business, then you're going to want to join in on Insiders because we are giving you specific strategies to use while making it targeted towards your audience. All right, so here's what we're going to make sure that we do today. We're going to discover how to attract our audience with attraction more marketing in order to grow our businesses. Now, we're going to start off with what is attraction marketing, because a lot of people, they'll hear that and not know what we're talking about. Attraction marketing is simply content that you are putting out that is meant to bring in your ideal audience. You are more answering the why of the problems that your audience have, because you have the solution on how to fix that problem. So... There are multiple types of attraction marketing. Most of us and those that are not doing this yet need to. The first is going to be the blog content that you create. We are going to take advantage of Google and make sure that we are using keyword research. I know that there are many algorithm updates that take place and many of us have seen a hit with Google, but keyword research is always going to be important. All of the different platforms that you use are search engines, Google, YouTube, podcasts, even forms of social media like Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook. They're all using keywords in order to help people find the right content. So when we are looking at our blog content, you have heard me say this many times before, you don't have to start with writing as your main piece of content. It can start with a video for either YouTube or it could start with audio for a podcast. All of these are going to utilize the opportunity for you to repurpose that content then into a blog post that is SEO'd so that you can make sure that you are utilizing those search engines on a platform that is yours owned by you, something that you are continuing to update and make sure it is continuing to be the best resource for your target audience as you continue to grow your and build your business. It is also important that after you have your blog content that you then utilize email content, because this is also a form of attraction marketing. The marketing that you are doing via email is attracting the audience that you have attracted from your blog content to then the products and services or affiliate product sponsored content that you are promoting, the way in which you can increase your revenue and diversify your revenue with the different things that you offer. You know that I have spoken quite a bit about the fact that it's important that you were thinking about how can you create your own product and service so that you can passively earn money and have a customer journey, which we are going to be talking more about, but a customer journey as far as the products that you are offering so that if you are starting off with an ebook and then potentially going to a workshop or potentially then going to a course or a group program, all of this are products that you can offer that you would utilize your email content in order to attract that audience 
to becoming someone that is now a customer of that those products and services. The next place that you are going to be using attraction marketing is social media content. Now, as I said in the beginning, we are still using keywords here because we know that many of the platforms are search engines. It's important that when you're using that social media content that it is not the first place that you are starting. You have heard me say time and time again, social media is rented property. It can change at any time, but you can utilize it in order to attract your ideal audience. Now, when you are looking at the social media platforms, you don't need to be everywhere all at once. Get good at one platform and then potentially add in another one. So it, you really need to make sure that you are thinking about where your audience is. Let's now dive into how to use attraction marketing. The first thing that you want to be doing is to answer the problems. You want to have that solution as to why you can answer it so that they can see how they can fix their problems with the content that you are offering. You have to be able to gain trust and people want to see that you are an effective teacher or inspirer or advocate for the content that they are finding you from. So you want to make sure that you are answering those problems. You also want to share stories. It's important that you are giving your audience an opportunity to know who you are. Too often, I heard food bloggers complain about the fact that their readers don't want to hear about any of the stories about where their famous chicken parmesan recipe came from, that it came from their grandmother. They said that their readers just want the recipe. Are those readers or are those people just looking for a recipe? Are they ever going to come back to you? Or is it just a page view that you're chasing? We have to start thinking about that when we create content, we intertwine stories so that people will want to come back to us because they feel that connection to us so that we can start to be able to and establish why they would want to buy our products and services. So if you are that food blogger that does Italian cooking, intertwine those family stories so that when you come out with your cookbook, they want to buy it. Or when you come out with a cooking class, they want to take it. Or when you want to create your own product that is Italian seasoning or jarred sauce that is going to be what you put to market, they are going to want to buy from you because they know you. That is so important. You also want to make sure that you create awareness of your products or services within your content. You still want to answer their problems, but you want to be able to give stories and testimonials of how others have seen success from your products or services. This is why you'll often hear me give examples of clients. It's because I have helped others and there's no reason to hide it. If I can potentially help someone, a listener that is in my audience as well, because they may see themselves in the example that I give. So by giving those examples, it gives them an opportunity to be aware of the products and services that you offer just naturally as part of the content that you are creating. Hey there, guys. My name is Melanie from Mostly Under Control, and I am a member of Jenny's Influencer Entrepreneurs Insiders membership. I've been a part of it since 2017, and over these six years, I've taken full advantage of the weekly trainings that Jenny offers and the monthly group coaching. The group coaching is probably my favorite part of the membership. Jenny has taught me so many things for my business. She helped me niche down and write and teach about what I wanted so that I wouldn't burn out. In addition to what she teaches, the networking I've done with other members has been invaluable. I recommend her membership to all of my online business owner friends because it is worth every single penny. Now, here's a couple quick tips for attraction marketing. The first thing that you want to make sure is that you're being authentic. You don't want to be what we would like to think about as those typical influencers that are doing duck lips, that are only doing things that are going to become viral or trends. When you do this, you're not attracting an ideal audience. What you're doing instead is attracting every single person and just trying to chase the virality. So make sure that you are authentic to who you are and 
to the audience that you are trying to attract. If your audience is women over 40, you're not going to try to talk about problems that potentially a 20-year-old is having or speak in a way in which you're trying to talk like you're a millennial. You want to be authentic to who you are. And this also means that you need to decide where the line is. How much do you actually have to share really depends on how comfortable you are and how much it is related to the content that you are creating, to the problems that you solve. If the fact that you just bought a new house has nothing to do with your play therapy course that you are offering, then it doesn't make any sense to bring it up. Unless you're trying to talk to people that are into looking into buying their houses and it would be um, because you're setting up the house according to making sure that play therapy is a natural thing that happens within your house. Then you share it. There has to be a connection to why you're sharing it. You also, for attraction marketing, want to know your target audience. Last two weeks ago, we talked a great deal about your target audience, what it is and how to make sure that you go about finding it and creating that content for them. You want to know who that is and also be thinking about that buyer persona that we talked about. Because when you are making sure that you're creating content specifically for them, it makes sure that it is the ideal person that will become that buyer. You also want to think about leveraging others' influencer platforms. Now, when I say influencers, again, I'm not talking about what we typically, when we roll our eyes and think of influencers. All of you, as you know, in my mind, are influencers. You're influencer entrepreneurs. You all have a target audience. So I want you to think about how could you potentially leverage someone else's platform. In return, hopefully you're letting them utilize and leverage yours as well. Many ways that this can be done, but one of the ways that we have talked about in great detail within Insiders Group is doing list swaps or creating a summit. I also have content on the podcast where we talk in depth about these options. But you want to have collaborations with other influencers, other bloggers, so that you can leverage each other's audiences, so that you're continually having new people come to you and get onto your list and know about the products and services that you offer. Attraction marketing is something that many of you are doing on a daily basis. It's what you would typically think of a traditional blogger from years ago. They created content, they put it out there, and they attracted. Then the difference between then and now is that now you're smart enough to know that you need to be monetizing via your own products and services rather than simply relying on those ad, that ad money that would be coming from page views. This is how we go from page view chaser to business owner. So if you are ready to take that route and become that business owner where you are creating a business that that you and your family are proud of, potentially could pass on, potentially could even look to sell, then you're going to want to join Insiders. We are are providing all of our podcast listeners with 40% off right now so that you can join in and start getting the targeted strategies to move your business forward and go beyond being that traditional page view chaser of a blogger to an actual business owner. All right, you guys, until next time, I will see you all then. 